You ready to rock? <laughs> All right, let's fucking do this. About to hit a little short cycle with Shawnee Boy. Triathlon is next week. So uh, obviously, got to get that last bit of prep done and uh, see where it takes us. The sun is low in the sky. I'm quite scared that I'm going to get hit by a car, to be honest with you. Couldn't really see a fucking thing when it's coming over here, so... Uh, I don't really look the business. I mean, come on, take a look at this. 10 a.m. Used to sleep and I've been up since 6 a.m. Early bird gets the word what it is. All these birds, they get curved what it is. Okay, okay. I don't frown a lot. No, no, no. Lately, blessings coming down a lot. They coming down. See my fam, I can't be down and That's what down. I'm talking about. Since 17, Rah. they try to knock me down. Don't ever count me out. I could go round for round. Don't need no friends, don't need no one around. Don't need no one. I get some booze, I get to thumbing down. I get to thumbing. Because of me, don't do no running round. No time for running round. I get upset when things don't go my way. I get upset, but I cannot complain. I save a bag to spend on rainy days Diamonds for my bay, yeah, those type of things 10 a.m. Used to sleep and I've been up since 6 a.m. Early bird gets the word what it is All these birds, they get curved what it is Okay, okay Hold up, wait a minute, let me say something Just finished up the cycle there Shawnee's over there getting sick But that fella gets sick If it's too fucking windy outside, so Good session put in, uh, about to do another run now. I'm supposed to have a swim on as well. It's only a quick, like 2.50 swim, but we'll see how the mood takes us. It's getting dark, which is something that we're not used to. Usually it's bright until around 10 o'clock and it's getting quite dark quickly here in Ireland. So we'll see what happens. We have a little run to do though, hopping on the pram and uh, take a look at this. Look at this absolute weapon. This is my bike for the triathlon. I didn't know anything about bikes until uh, a couple of months ago. But she's basically SRAM kitted out to the tops, if any of you know what that means. A little carbon fibre seat post, a few other carbon fibre bits like the inside of the wheel. Uh, I need to get better pedals though, as uh, obviously Mans is wearing his running shoes. Not going to wear the clips. Obviously, got the sporty beacon at the back, you know what I'm saying? Serious bit of kit that is. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm rocking with. The white grips were not a good idea as we're getting them absolutely fucking destroyed. But we move. Not a bad little rig. There's Shawnee boy getting sick over there. He is a character, man. He is a fucking character. He's a veteran, though. I'll tell you something, man. He gives it his all. He's a fucking machine, that fella. Full credit to Shawnee boy. No one else is out here on a Friday evening putting themselves through hell. Except this man right here. Big respect, big respect. You alright, Sean? I don't video that one. Nah, I'm videoing me. I'm videoing me. You alright? Yeah. You ready to go for a run? Yeah. Really been going back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like the neighborhood warriors. I don't miss, I don't play none, I don't diss, I don't say none. I go switch, that's a A1. I stay with no A1. Tell the chef, I said thanks. Tell the tell I'm in the bank. Tell my mom I'm living good. Tell my kids don't stress a thing. I go back to back on the drops. Drop a lot and she pack the bag. She shot till we drop. I just wake up. I don't say nothing. I'm on go go. I don't stay long. I've been up now. That's the case one. I've been down too. Like this day strong. Trying to done. Bike. Run. I'd like to say we did a swim, but <laughs> the darkness was not on our side today. So all in all, good days in. Try to land it about one more week. One more week. Good effort put in by Shawnee Boy. Over there. Bosh. It's Sunday, bit of swimming on today. Uh, last couple of days we've been working on the bike, 
and working on the run portion of the triathlon. Another couple of days to go until lift off. Uh, we had just finished up the few swim lessons, so I always like to just try and bang out a couple of lengths, even though it's uh, it's good training. It doesn't necessarily replicate open water swimming, but you know, it's good swimming all the same. And uh, luckily enough, obviously, the perks of being a swimming teacher, you do get that private pool time as well. As uh, I don't like going to those public hours in swimming pools. You're banging up and down lengths and you have some fucking old biddy doing the little breaststroke there. And uh, you're trying to get past her and you feel bad fucking trying to overtake her and all that. She's there trying to fucking combat her cholesterol and I'm here trying to get fucking mad gains on the swim. We want to try and get a kilometer in today. Maybe throw in some butterfly just for the crack. As we never really get to practice the old butterfly since my competitive days are over. See, when it comes to the triathlon, my strongest part of the actual race itself is the swim. As for you who don't know, I actually have a competitive swimming background. So I just managed to just get away in the swim portion of the triathlon. The bike, again, the skill gap between the best person on the bike and the worst person on the bike isn't necessarily going to be as big as the swim. The swim is the portion of this part where, you know, if you're not great at swimming, you're really going to suffer in the race and uh, well, luckily for me, I actually have that advantage. So coming in on the triathlon, it's a kilometer swim. So that is my only chance to actually really fucking get away with it and try and make a good dent in this race. We're gunning for top 50. I think it's bold enough to ask for top 50, first triathlon back, but you know, good aspirations and all that. Uh, without further ado, we are gonna hit a kilometer swim in the pool. I'll try and get a couple of shots of um, little bits and bobs. But a uh, kilometre swim freestyle, possibly like I was saying, throwing a bit of butterfly, just to keep it fresh, uh, cool down on breast up then. So all in all, you're looking at maybe like a 1500 metre swim, one kilometre swim in regards to freestyle, break that up into a couple of drills then for the remaining 500, that includes a cool down and it includes just a little bit of butterfly, just because. <laughs> Training is finished. We didn't quite get the uh, the 1500 we were looking for. Uh, it was closer to 1200. Uh, we did get the 1k swim on freestyle. We did get that done. So the distance has been covered. The accessory work, such as the butterfly and the, that kind of crack kind of was sacrificed because I was trying to get all these different angles and all that shit. Eventually I just said, I oh, fuck this. I think I managed to get like a length or something. I said, ah, oh, this is fucking long. You get the new phone and uh, I'm like trying to set it up without a tripod. Like leaning it against the bottle of water and fucking all that shit. And I was like, oh, if the phone falls in the water now, I'm going to be so pissed off. So I said, ah, oh, fuck it, man. I have a tripod ordered soon. Uh, I should be here next week. It's one of those fancy ones. You can click a button and it takes the photo for you and all that. But yeah, job done for the day. We have uh, training is done. Uh, we're not going to hit the gym today. We're going to keep it cool as it is. Uh, we have a fucking massage later on. That's really the reason why. Right now we go back, eat some food and uh chill out till this fucking massage ah fuck off look at this mate i got me tripod set up in the car and all that hands free and that it's fucking wicked crack it's fucking wednesday it's pissing rain there's like a storm on it's like a weather warning mate what a fucking shit day in galway city i tell you that for a fine fact but we do have a new tripod and we're hands free over here i feel like i could just reach back and touch my bike on camera do fucking a whole lot of things hit them mate this tripod is giving me a new sense of life we just finished up with this morning's clients what a beautiful scene though honestly i had a client there this morning he was doing a tricep push down and the client that i was currently training said he, he's doing that he, he's slightly off in his technique which he was so he said go on over there and correct him so so the two lads know each other one of my clients went over helped the other guy out and the correction of the technique was absolutely fucking spot on man what a beautiful fucking time to be alive 
always do that if we see a client that i'm not currently working with and they're um maybe they're having a bit of difficulty or something like that maybe they've kind of slipped on a bit of technique i'll always come in and just you know here give me two seconds and kind of help them out and all that crack but when a client helps out another client oh mate that's just fucking impeccable. It is a fucking shit day in Galway though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we have a bit of work on, we're gonna hit friends for a fry, and uh, then we are going to hit the laptop in friends, do a little bit of jaggle work there. And uh, unfortunately, it's a deload week, man. We have the triathlon at the end of the week, so we're kind of just fucking prancing around the place. I'm gonna hit a 5K in a few minutes uh, after me fry and after a bit of work on the laptop. Uh, I do want to hit the weights. I feel like I'm shrinking, man. I swear to God, I feel like I'm shrinking. Not fucking on. But um, it might hit a it might hit a, real, a light full body just to, you know, keep the moose gals intact. Because my, uh, my, my theory of relativity when it comes to resistance training is always you lift the weights, you build the muscle. You lift the heavy weights, you build the big muscle. And we are on a mission today. Coffee's already done this morning, pulled up to the gaff. I always have my little friend who comes in here. Dory is her name. She always comes in purring away cause you know, fucking I am a little bit of a cat lady at heart to be honest with you. Uh, although she does have a, a rival with my birds, unfortunately. So, you know, natural predator and all that. But, uh, which I'm not too happy about. But uh, I mean, she is a little bit of a sweetheart. I mean, you know, come on, look at this little kitty cat. I love you, eh? So, T-minus one day out, for, uh, two days out from the triathlon. And uh, we're looking good, we're looking prepped. Got ourselves a couple of these gels, because, you know, we're endurance athletes and all that. And uh, looking good, man. Bike's still in the back of the car. I have to manage to get another one in the back down in a few minutes. Uh, Shawnee boy's coming down with me down to Kerry. So, hopefully, we can, um, we can see what's happening. And, uh, hey, don't be up there. But yeah, so we have the triathlon on in two days. Uh, feeling good, feeling prepped, injury free. Uh, body's feeling nice. The running has come on leaps and bounds. Uh, I had a trip over to Lanzarote earlier in the summer and just spent the whole two weeks just training, training, training um, on the running aspect of things. So swimming for me comes quite easy with the competitive swimming background. Cycling. Hey, what the fuck? Get down here. Um, cycling is low impact for me, so again, not, it took me a while to adjust, but not too bad. Got myself a weapon of a yoke back there as well. And uh, the running was for, for me was just absolutely chronic because the stiffness that has been occurring over the space the last, fuck, I think it's like been 10 years almost since I've even ran as I was under the illusion cardio killed gains. And uh, <laughs> took me a decade to learn out that it doesn't. But without doing any running and i mean like maybe kicking a football around or something like that but doing absolutely no running uh now i was suffering big time suffering i think i mentioned it before my lower back was seizing up when i was running uh you know getting a load of cramps like specifically though the lower back i couldn't believe it like i thought my lower back was quite developed but in reality of it like i could run 
1.5k and it was as if i've done a high volume day on deadlifts like my lower back was absolutely pumped up like i could just, I couldn't move like um so that was alarming at the start of training i didn't think i was going to be able to get my um my 5k in without walking half of it and that's an absolute fucking sin but we're running 5k's now without stopping um fastest 5k time i've got so far is 27 minutes on a treadmill let's put it that way so it's easy to mediate uh, pace when you're on a treadmill road running it's definitely going to be a little bit slower and uh, a little bit more impact on the joints but we're not going to sit here and complain but that is going to do this week's vlog we're going to obviously pick it up this weekend in valencia island we go down tomorrow so we should have a good bit on for you love being back on the vlogs uh if you wouldn't do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me it means the absolute world to us we're chasing down 500 subs at the minute we're almost there so any little bit of a support is massively appreciated so i appreciate the watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you in valencia island over the weekend you thought it was a smart idea until you're trapped back there there's no way you're getting out of that. Fuck's sake. Come on. Psst, psst. You thought it was a smart idea, didn't you? Come on. Out the fuck.